welcome to this short demonstration uh, on the sacred anointing oils. I will be talking about Mary Magdalene and anointing oils. My name is Ana Otero and I'm the CEO and founder of Mary Magdalene Mystery School. So let's start, okay? And um, the first thing I want to talk to you a little bit about is Mary Magdalene as her role as a mirror for. And the word mirror for means priestess of the sacred oils. And uh, of course, we see the word myrrh in front of it, right in the beginning of the, of the word. And myrrh is actually an oil that we use. And the mirophores during the time of Mary Magdalene and before, they were supposed to anoint themselves with myrrh every single day because it awakened their humility when it came to working with the, with the spirit of these oils. So Mary Magdalene as a mirror and many other mirror that came before her because this tradition did begin in Egypt. It started in Egypt, even if you go to Dendera and the temple of Hathor, you can see transcribed in the temple different mixtures of oils that they would blend the priestesses to, um, to create a chrism. And I'm going to explain that word right now when we talk about Mary Magdalene. So, Mary Magdalene, if we, if we read the Gospel of Philip, the Gospel of Philip talks about the different sacraments. And the, we see the first sacrament as being baptism. And when we think about baptism, we always think about the Catholic Church and the baby being baptized because we are purified from original sin. But it doesn't really mean that. Baptism means being immersed in the waters of the mother. Totally immersed in water so that we can die and be reborn in holy union with our soul. It's holy communion with our soul. So it's actually going back to the waters, the cosmic waters of the mother to go back to our true essence. And we can, we, we get rid of all of the programming, the personality, the false personality. It's just, it's being reborn again into the waters of the mother, which is our true essence. So that's what baptism is. And, and you know, we've got the Sara La Cali in France and in, in San Marie de la Mer that they take the statue of Sara La Cali and they take her out into the ocean. And <laughs> they do this in Spain as well. And this is a symbol of, of, of the, the true ritualistic symbol of baptism. So if we, if we can think of just being immersed in water and how sacred this is to be um, actually the, your whole body immersed in water, it's like going back into the room, then we get the next sacrament. And the next sacrament is the Holy Chrism. And the Chrism is the anointing oil. And this is so important about the anointing oil because the anointing oil awakens our light body. And that may sound very esoteric, but it's actually very practical when the way I'm going to talk about it. And our light body is, is all about energy and vibration. And I like to, if you get the image of being in an egg, you know, like being in, a, in an egg, a cosmic egg, and you really want to birth something, which is your soul. At the end of the day, the soul wants to express himself, herself through the body that we chose in this incarnation. So we're in this body and, and the soul really wants to express himself, herself. And we have so many gifts, so much beauty, so much knowledge, so much wisdom, but then we get stuck and we're stuck. And we know about, we know our potential. So what happens with the light body? When we use the, the oils, the oils are medicine, and each oil has his or her own spirit. And I'll be talking about that. So when we anoint ourselves with the oil, all of the other stuff starts to disappear. And within this egg, we start to create a light. And the light starts to push out everything that is false. No, your karmas, your personality, your fears, your, the programming, patriarchal programming. It just starts to push it out. And then within this egg, you, you, we have so much light surrounding us that the egg hatches. And then we're actually human. <laughs> because to be human actually is to be divine. And that's what it means. You know, you open up the egg and you're actually human. You're, you've birthed who you really are. And this is what the light body means. So these oils activate our light body. When we read about the Temple of Solomon, the Temple of Solomon was a very, very fascinating 
and magical and very spiritual uh, temple of prayer where people would go to speak to light beings, to speak to the angels, to speak to the ascended masters, and there was an Ark of the Covenant. And within this Ark of the Covenant, covenant there was a, an, a chrism, a mixture of different oils that actually Solomon knew that Mary Magdalene would be working with. He knew, he prophesied it. He knew Mary Magdalene would be working with these oils. So let's talk about the oils um, because I really would like to, um, for you to experience, to have a little bit of knowledge and to go out and create an oil. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about the oils and how Mary Magdalene used these oils. And I say Mary Magdalene because she is, right now, in this moment, the, the most famous Mirafor because we know that she anointed Yeshua's body when he, um, after the crucifixion, when before he resurrected with myrrh, because myrrh is an oil that helps the soul go into the other world without carrying the karma and the, the attachment of the physical world. She also anointed Yeshua's feet, her beloved Yeshua's feet and hair with spikenard, Spikenard is also an oil that is used for, for transitioning from one phase to the next phase when we leave our physical body, but it's also an oil used to awaken Kundalini. And it's used um, to awaken sexuality in its purity, in, in the, pure, the pure sense of sexuality, okay? So, um, and that's why I do like to call them uh, sacred oils and, and Mary Madden oils because we're working with her lineage and we're working with her wisdom. So each oil, and I have many oils here, and um, each oil has a spirit. When we think of the, where oils come from, oils come from plants, from trees, from leaves. And these plants, these trees, these leaves absorb energy from different planets. They're not just gifts from Gaia, okay? And um, they actually absorb energy from different planets. So when we awaken the spirit of the oil, we're actually awakening the vibration of the planets that we're working with, and sometimes even asteroids, and sometimes even stars, and light beams. So each oil has a sacred sound. Each oil has a code, an activation code that um, today we'll be using rose because I know that is a very easy and accessible oil. A little bit expensive, but worth it. <laughs> and um, I'll be, I think it's just a beautiful oil to work with since I am explaining the whole tradition of Mary Magdalene. And I use a selenite wand to activate uh, the code, the activation code of the spirit. So we can actually call upon the spirit of the oil for the medicine that the spirit wants to bring to us. So... When we go to to a shop, let's say any type of shop, and we went or we order essential oils, these oils are going to have a beautiful and magical and medicinal benefit in our physical body and emotional body always, always. Because an essential oil goes into your blood within less than five minutes. So it's creating magic, it's, it's medicine. Now, when you awaken the spirit, of the oil. Not only will the benefits physically, mentally, and emotionally be a lot stronger, but we will actually tune into the vibration of the mystical quality of the oil. And that is where the magic happens. So just to give you an example, um, this is Frangipani, which is a beautiful oil and um, smells really, really good. And it's related, it's connected to Aphrodite and the love goddesses and a strong connection with Venus. So it's, it's a very magnetic oil, uh, Frangipani, and this oil is, is found a lot in the Canary Islands, um, this flower. So it's a magnetic oil. This oil will, will awaken your magnetism so you can magnify things into, into your life. Um, I also have Oregano, and oregano is a very, very powerful oil when we awaken the spirit that is amazing for our immune system. Okay, these are just little examples. And then I have vetiver, which I love. Vetiver, for example, is really good for grounding and connected to Gaia. Um, and the spirit of vetiver 
it helps us connect with the elemental beings. You know, we can speak to the elemental beings and learn how to talk to crystals and plants and trees and even animals. But today we're going to work with rose oil, okay? So this is my rose oil and, and there is a whole process in the activation of the oils that takes a very long time. I use the divine breath of Shekinah, of the Holy Spirit to activate the oils. But I can, we can, I can show you a little bit of this, you know. So when, before I pour an oil into the container, um, I bless the container. I use a little bit of sage to purify. And the, the, and then I allow my breath to come into the container. So I'm, I'm going to prepare the rose oil and I'm going to talk about the benefits. And since we are going to be working with the spirit of the rose oil, you will be feeling the spirit, even though you're watching me from different parts of the world and you may not have rose oil with you. And even if you do, go get it, okay? <laughs> but if you don't, you will feel the spirit because I'm going to call upon the spirit. So anytime I call upon the spirit, I always start with a little chant. And um, let me just cover myself up because when we cover ourselves up, we, um, we show our humility and and we create a sacred container within our body as well. So I'm just going to chant a, a little prayer. And even if, if you feel enlightened and inspired to create this oil after you see this video, I encourage you to do a little chant as well or a prayer. You could do a mantra. And I'm just going to chant a prayer to the Divine Mother. I'm going to use my drum because the drum awakens the spirit of the oils because this type of drum, the frame drum, is connected to, oops, sorry about that, to um, the biblical priestesses and prophetesses, the Middle East, the, the Near East, the Mediterranean, um, and it's the, the, the frame drum elevates the energy. So it takes it from the earth, the Gaia, and elevates the energy. So. The spirit, the spirit of the oils really, really resonates to the beat of the drum. And we all know how to play a drum. <laughs> Some of us are professional, but anyone can play a drum. And if you don't have a play a drum, if you don't have a drum when you make your oil, you can drum on your thighs or you can drum on the floor. I mean, this is something natural. So I'm going to do a beautiful prayer to the Divine Mother so we can start working on the rose oil together. Divine Mother. this and so aligned with the oils okay so I'm going to talk about the rose oil 
because I know this is an oil that many of us love and I'm sure that this oil um, is part of our routine. So rose oil has a strong connection and a vibration with Venus and Lemuria. So when we use and activate the rose oil and we activate the spirit of the oil, we're actually um, receiving the vibration, the blessing and the energy of Venus and Lemuria. Now we know that Venus is a powerful planet and I always say that it would take me so long to talk about Venus, but I use four words to talk about Venus just to, to summarize, which is beauty, love, um, abundance, creativity. Okay, so it's, it's, a, it's a feminine heart, Venus, and, and Mary Magdalene does belong to the Venus lineage. Um, so this is Venus. We've got, we can activate the pure energy of Venus, which is the rose, of course, and also Lemuria, which also works with the divine feminine energy. Okay, so we're uh, working with these two. And then the archetypes, the astrological archetypes are Taurus and Libra and the rose oil. So when we work with... Taurus and Libra, we know that, you know, Venus, Aphrodite, the energy of Aphrodite comes in. But there are two sides to Aphrodite. We have Aphrodite Pandemos and Aphrodite Urania. So Aphrodite Pandemos is all about, which is Taurus, is about physical beauty, which is important as well. Physical beauty is about feeling good. It's not about um, looking like a model in a, in a magazine or putting on lots of makeup or your age. Physical beauty is about feeling good in your body and wanting to emit beauty. So that is the, the Aphrodite Pandemos, where you just feel really comfortable in your body and sensual and the way you move and, and anything that is, is material, which is, you know, here on earth. And that's the Taurus archetype and astrology related to to the uh, rose oil. And then we've got the Libra, and Libra is connected to the Aphrodite um, Urania, which is spiritual beauty, okay? And then when we connect to that spiritual beauty, um, we're just even more radiant. And so these two um, astrological archetypes are in this oil when we activate the oil. Now, um, rose oil activates divine love, understanding, beauty, connection to the divine feminine. On a physical level, rose oil is really, really good for our menstrual cycle, for, or if you're in menopause or you're menstruating, really, really good for the womb and because it relaxes the womb and also can even help to regulate the menstrual cycle. Rose oil opens up and heals the heart. So if we've gone through any type of trauma or separation or maybe a divorce or even losing a loved one, we can anoint our heart every day a little bit just, just to, to ease the pain and, and to, to help us go through this dark night of the soul and to awaken into the wisdom after we've gone into that dark night of the soul. Um, the beauty about rose oil is for the for the Catholics um, um, and the smell of roses is connected to the Garden of Eden. Uh, for Muslims, it's connected to the presence of a, a holy spirit, a holy light being. And, and also it is said that when you smell roses, you're actually smelling the divine. And it is said that Mary Madeline and Mother Mary, when Yeshua was dying on the cross, their tears, when they the tears fell on the ground, they turned into roses. So the, the rose is about dying, death and rebirth, death and rebirth constantly, you know, and, and that's why the rose is so connected with Mary Magdalene because she teaches us death and rebirth. And, it's, and the rose is connected to Jeshua because the passion of Christ is within all of us. The passion of Christ is the ability to die and to be reborn. So, on, um, on a spiritual, mystical, uh, in a spiritual and mystical vibration, royal, the, the rose oil connects us directly to the divine feminine energy. And when we are connected and we awaken the divine feminine energy, we become a holy chalice, a holy grail to receive the wisdom of the mother and to, to, to actually embody who she is embody the goddess 
And this is so healing because when we use rose oil on a mystical level, working with the spirit of rose, I'm talking about the spirit of rose, she helps us awaken into our innate wisdom. All of us have innate wisdom from past lives and from this life. We're always worried about, oh, in a past life I did this and this is my karma. But what about the beauty of everything that we have learned in our past lives? What about the beauty of everything that we learned in this life and the ones to come? And what are the beauty that the wisdom that, that we've acquired while we, our soul was in, in, in the light schools being trained to come here? All of our teachers, all of our masters. I mean, this is, this is serious oil. <laughs> and also the rose oil, since we connect to the divine feminine vibration, ro rose oil helps us be in receptivity. We're always in the action mode, action. And I'm very active. I don't stop all day. Um, and I'm, I can still be in the active mode. I can still be working. I can still be a mom and, and you know, leading the school and taking care of my home and going to the grocery store and everything that, that we have to do. But at the same time, I, I'm receptive. I learn how to be a, a, a yoni and just receive. Because part of being a human is giving but receiving. We are here to receive the beauty of the Holy Spirit of mother, father, of God, goddess. We are here to receive that so that we can actually be human on earth. So this is this is the active, um, the, the active spirit of the rose oil. Now, just let me make sure I, have, I get really, really excited and sometimes I forget to, to give you all of my notes. Oh, on a, an emotional level, rose oil is really, really good for children um, who are angry or who have anger within them and um, they can just smell a little bit of the rose oil it's really really good for uh, stress and very very good for our sex drive as well rose oil helps us if we're depressed or if we're sad you know if we wake up in the morning and the first thing that we do is go oh you need rose oil okay <laughs> So those are a little, are a little bit of more of the, the, the physical and emotional aspects. But on the mystical, it's about connecting to the divine feminine and receiving the vibrations of Venus and Lemuria. So what I do when I uh, activate an oil, I, today I'm going to show you how to really pour in your divine breath into the, the little bottle that you choose and then chant the sacred sound, do the code, the activation code, and I'm going to call the spirit of the rose oil. And even if you don't have rose, we're going to all feel her presence together, okay? So let me just get some, a little bit of music on. Um, I'm a Leo moon, so everything is music for me. <laughs> One second. So what I do, this rose oil is already activated, but what I do is before you put anything into the bottle, remember to bless it, put a little bit of sage, make sure everything is clean, or you can do palo santo or incense. And just connect with the, your breath. I mean, your, the divine breath is the Holy Spirit. We breathe all day, but when we become aware of that breath, the breath is life. It's your connection to the material world. So just breathe in. And even if you don't have the oil, please do this with me. I'm going to breathe into the bottle three times and I want you to breathe into your hands. Inhale nose, exhale mouth, very slowly, feeling the presence of Shekinah, of the Holy Spirit, go into your hands, the palms of your hand.
And then here, I hope you did it in the palms of your hands. And I know you're feeling the presence, the presence of the Holy Spirit right now. And then here's where I would put the rose oil and the carrier oil in a 50, 50 milliliter bottle. I put 35 drops, so just do the math, and then a rose oil, and the rest is the carrier oil. For rose, almond oil, oil is really good, okay? And then, you don't anoint, you shut the bottle, leave the bottle very near you, and the sacred sound that we are going to use to call in the spirit of rose is Nukra Daraga, and this is Aramaic. And Nukra is light and Daraga is portal. So we're going to chant Nukra Daraga. And just with the palms facing up, and I want all of you to chant with me because we're calling on the spirit of the rose oil, even if you don't have your rose oil. Inhale. and keep the breath with the root lock while you bring the hands slowly, slowly into your heart center. Exhale, bring down. And now, I'm going to take my selenite wand. You use the index finger of the hand that you write with, and I just want you to draw the V of Venus, and on top of the V of Venus, three dots like the Trinity. One, two, three. That is the activation code of the spirit. So just do it with me. One more time. And to anoint, we hold and we repeat while we whisper Nukra Daraga seven times. Nukra Daraga, Nukra Daraga, Nukra Daraga, Nukra Daraga, Nukra Daraga, Nukra Daraga. And if you're not holding an oil, hold your hands together and allow the presence of the divine feminine to go into your body, the spirit of the rose oil. And I'm going to be anointing myself. You can just bless if you don't have rose oil. If you have rose oil, by chance, make sure you anoint with rose oil. Even if you're just doing it without the blend, Bless while I anoint. Sorry, I had to stretch out my leg. I kind of fell asleep. So we're going to anoint. And this is how we anoint. These are the holy places, the blessed places. We're going to anoint the Ajna Chakra. Behind the neck, the neck to activate the Amygdala. 
we anoint our heart and this would be the anointing ritual to do every day if you want to do an anointing ritual we anoint the wrists we anoint the womb space our wombs <laughs> Okay. And we anoint our feet and our ankles. The fastest way to get oil into your blood is through the soles of the feet and behind the neck. And if we want to bless our intuition and our sexuality, which is very important because your sexuality is your creative power and your sexuality is um, how you express yourself when you channel your sexuality. It's not just about intimacy. You can take a little bit of rose oil as well and bless your sexuality, your intuition and your wisdom and anoint the, end, the ends of your hair. And when you anoint the ends of your hair, you also close up the, um, the parts of your hair that are open that can get energies from the outside. So just anoint. And rose is absolutely wonderful for your hair. And then when you're finished, just take, you smell your hands. Allow the smell go to go to into your limbic system, your limbic brain, to liberate just memories of you as a divine feminine, gathering with your sisters, with the goddess, with the mother, the divine the mother and the father. And just feel that healing energy in your heart, in your womb, your connection to Venus Lemuria, feeling the Aphrodite Pandemos, Urania, the physical beauty, the spiritual beauty. And this is just a little demonstration of how to work with oils, with a mystical connection and this is a way also to connect with the medicine of Mary Magdalene. This is her medicine. Her medicine are the essential oils. You know, I know there's a lot of people that relate Mary Magdalene with different types of stones and jade eggs and yoni eggs and but we need to be faithful and uh, respectful to her lineage and to the time that she was here and we know that all of these oils, a lot of them appear in the Bible. Um, so if you want to start connecting with the medicine of Mary Magdalene, here you go. And these are the beautiful oils and the, the spiritual way to connect with the spirit of plants and trees and leaves and flowers. Thank you so much and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just ask me. I'm, I'm open. I love help. I, I love oils and I love the way they make me feel and the way they activate my light body. And um, I feel really, really healthy and I'm connected to my divine feminine as well as my divine masculine through this medicine. Thank you so much. Ahava Satnam. <laughs>